Is that the deep end? Where do I jump? Hey beautiful people, I am Joe Kraleski, the super brave teacher, and today we're talking about taking risks. Yep, taking super gay, gay, gay risks. Okay, not gay risks, risks. But what you can do for this gay guy is don't take a risk, just like this channel, share this channel, do what you do, get the word out that the super brave teacher is here, tipping Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ plus teachers and students. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Thank you. So you might not think it, but this guy is a risk taker. I love taking risks. My dad always says, no guts. No glory, no guts, no glory. That's what I heard my whole life. And you know what? I, I believe it. No guts, no glory, jump in the deep end. Jump in the deep end. And that goes right to my first story. So I'm becoming my dad, I really am. He is like the king of his five stories and he tells his five stories to us again and again and again. We're like, we've heard this story. And like whenever he meets someone new, he's like telling the story, we're like, don't tell the story. We've heard you share this story. And I am doing the same thing now. I have this deep end story that I always tell people when I'm like, oh, do you know who I am? Have you heard the deep end story? Oh, let me tell you the deep end story. So I'm gonna do that for you right now because it ties into what we're talking about, taking risks. So I was born in Florida. My family lived in Florida when I was a little kid. And of course, naturally, you go swimming. So I remember don't really remember, this is like a fabricated story that has been told to me through the generations, generations of years. And I was just this little kid sitting on the side of the pool with my mom, watching my older brother swim. And I wanted to swim, and I don't know if you have older siblings, but it's always like, wait, just wait, just wait. Just don't tell this guy to wait, right? So I'm sitting there waiting, and I'm like, okay, I really wanna swim, I really wanna swim. My mom's like, nope, you gotta wait. We gotta put your floaties on you and I'll go in the water with you and all this stuff and no. So all of a sudden my mom's not looking and there I go and I go over to the deep end and I jump in and I'm just swimming and I'm just swimming and my mom's like, oh, what's going on? And I could swim and I wasn't even cocky or arrogant. I wasn't like, um, mom, do you see what I'm doing? Hey, I'm over here. Don't hold me back. No, I was just swimming and I wanted to be in the water. I just wanted to swim. I wanted to take that risk. I needed to feel the water. I needed to figure out if I could do that. And that's how it is with risks. Right? I'm not saying be unsafe. I'm not saying do things that are crazy just to do it. I am saying do things that excite you. Do things that, yeah, are a little bit risky for you, but it is worth it. I knew I could swim. I knew in my gut that I could swim. Just let me swim. So I did. And that's kind of how I choose to live my life. And that's kind of how I choose, chose to make this channel. And that goes right into my second story. So I've been trying to take bigger risks lately. I, and I wanna take risks and hear no. So I've been putting these videos out and guess what? The majority of these videos right now have like 50 views, 60 views. So maybe the risk is a failure. Nope, it's not. I'm gonna keep taking this risk and keep striving to tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way, and I know Google and YouTube are listening. But guess what just happened? I was listening to a podcast. I'm getting closer because I'm so excited. I was listening to a podcast with Ariana Huffington, and she was being interviewed, and she said something to the effect of like, you know what people should just do is email me. They should just email me, and I'd help them out. And I'm like, huh, okay. I'll email Ariana freaking Huffington. So I composed a beautiful email to her and I just told her the story of this channel. I said, hey, Ariana Huffington, you are amazing and you are the master connector. You know everybody and you just masterfully say, you know what, you should be doing this and no, you should be with this person and connect these things and she's amazing. So I wrote her this and I told her these things and I said, Ariana, Miss Huffington, <laughs> If you could, please, I don't need help from you, but if you know someone who could help out this channel and get the word out, let me know. I want to thrive. I want to be part of something bigger than just me in this channel. And she wrote back. Ariana Huffington wrote back. 
the effective saying, speaking to effective. Dear Joel, my dear Joel, thank you so much for writing. I would love to help you tip these search engines in a radically positive and accepting way. I would love for you to write for my new company, Thrive Global, and I would like love for you to write for me and share your stories, and I'm gonna CC my assistant on this, and she's gonna take care of you. And I'm just like, what? What? I just took a huge risk by, put, by saying, you know what, I'm not gonna go here, I'm gonna go here to someone who I admire and have long admired, and I'm gonna write her. And I got to write my first piece, and I'm gonna put the link below so you can read a risk that I took, which is sharing my story and putting it, putting more of me out there and saying why I started this channel and why I wanted to Google on YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. And it was published, and I can now say that I wrote for Ariane Huffington and for the world. It's cool and it's amazing, and guess what? Guess who, guess what the biggest treat is? I love it, I'm excited for it. And that is why taking a risk is so important. You are not doing this for praise. You are not doing this for so other people see it. I didn't swim so that my mom could like, give me a pat on the back. It's because I had to do what I knew I needed to do. And that's the same with this channel. It does not matter if whoever thinks that this is a crazy pipe dream of tipping a search engine, tipping the mammoth Google and YouTube, I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna keep striving to do that, or along the way I'm gonna figure out new ways of getting these things done and telling more and more stories. So take risks, I guess. I'm just gonna end with that. Take a risk. What is on your heart to do? Take a risk. Try that. No guts, no glory. Jump in the deep end. You know how to swim. You know how to swim. I'm like getting all jolly right now. You know what you can do. Take a risk. Make the day more exciting. Do some, you're gonna hear no's. Take that risk, it is so worth it. I am sending you some love right now because I heard A, you like love, A, and B, you are an amazing risk taker, so take a risk, take a risk. And you know what? This week I'm gonna take more risks and it's not gonna work out. Then I'm gonna keep taking more risks and then it will work out and then it won't and then it will. That's the beauty of life. But you know what? Life doesn't get boring when you take risks. Life is exciting. So thanks for hearing my two little stories about taking risks. What risks have you been taking lately? Share it below, share it, Let's make this community great. I wanna hear your stories. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Read the article below, check out my new website, check out the blogs, all this stuff. So, so cool. You are appreciated, you are loved, just for being you, risk taker or not. Bye friends. I get a good beat.